hope everyone is doing well. Um, I am doing well. It is, um, I guess, a typical August here in Virginia. <laughs> so, um, this deck I had never heard of before in my life. This is the Rust Belt Arcana uh, by David Wilson and Matt Stansbury. Two men, finally. It's actually by two guys. Um, and it is in sort of a, a Len coffin box. And it uh, does not have a booklet. But, um, yeah, no booklet. But here are the cards. Um, I can't tell you much about it because it was a gift to me, which was awesome. Um, here's the, the back. It's an eye with a face of the moon. Not reversible. 78 cards, typical um, tarot deck. I'm actually trying out a lavalier microphone to see if, if that gives me better audio than my Sony camera. Even though my Sony camera, I can see the microphone on it. Sometimes um, lavalier microphones are a little bit better. So this one is um, has its own power. It takes a couple batteries, so we'll see how it goes. As far as audio, it looks like it's doing a good job. Um, so the interesting thing about this deck is, so it's based on, um, it's North American in, in scope. It has um, prominent environmentalists as the court cards, as the king, the king and the queen, and well as as well as indigenous insects and plants. So that is interesting and unique with this deck. I've actually never seen a deck like this, so um, it's pretty awesome. So let's go through it. So here is the. which is a, uh, a black bear. You see the, the paw prints here. At first I didn't see that it was a bear, but uh, it's there. We have the magician. We have a um, salmon. We have a little hook on the nose and the red stripe. And a fisherman. The high priestess. Here we have a woman with a, an owl. I'm not sure what type of owl. Um, here we have a face, the Empress, um, with skulls. I'm not sure what this is. I, it looks like a um, one of those plants that opens up and it stinks really bad. I've actually never seen one of these other than the um, voodoo lily. But this doesn't look like a voodoo lily. Um, you know, they smell like rotting meat to attract flies which pollinate them. Here we have the emperor. The hero faint is a hunter. Notice he's him in sort of a peace sign. He's got his jacket on. He's got two guys underneath of him. We have the lovers. I guess these are storks. So the Rust Belt Arcana, that's what it's called. Um, the Rust Belt is um, part of the U.S. Let me pull it up. I'll pull up in a bit. Um, here we have Dragflies as the Chariot. Strength, here we have Monarchs. Sometimes Viceroys are different. Uh, they're different butterflies, though. The Hermit, we have a lovely turtle. Maybe it's a box turtle. Wheel of Fortune, here we have some fossils underneath the ground. We have um, White-tailed Deer. It's a mammoth, trilobite, something, justice, a woman with her mushrooms. We have lots of different mushrooms in North America, so it's pretty cool. 
I have mushrooms in my backyard right now. The hanged man is a possum. They do hang from their tail. Um, at the moment, my mother has two of them that she's raising. Um, she loves her her um, possums. Um, I think they're the only marsupial we have here in, the, in North America. We have death, we have a crow, skeleton, temperance. Um, that bird is a, shoot, it's a marsh bird or shore bird, I'm not sure. Here we have the devil. It's um, really strange, this guy, but it's a, um, these are lightning bugs. Those are males. And that's the female. The female is like a worm. The tower. Here we have a building that has, uh, you know, skyscrapers have problems with birds hitting them because of the windows and falling. So we have some dead birds. The star, we have a frog with her, her little fertilized eggs and just sitting there in the moonlight. Maybe not fertilized. We have another owl is the moon. The sun is a fish. Two boys fishing. Judgment, we have cicadas. So cicada wings and the little cicadas coming out of there. They live underground, what, 19 years and they emerge for two weeks. And all they do, they can't eat, they have no mouth. So, all they do is scream, fuck, and die. And that's what they do. Scream, fuck, die. For two weeks. Um, they've kind of died down. Usually it's... Um, side down. I found several dead ones in my backyard. So, all they do is just drop dead. They get so weak, they just drop dead. The world. I believe that's... Is that a pike? With a turtle? So Rust Belt, that's all the major arcana. So the Rust Belt here in the US. The Rust Belt is an uh, informal term for a region of the United States that has been experiencing industrial decline since around 1980. Um, I don't really live in the Rust Belt, but here, this is the Rust Belt. So here's Virginia where I live, and I live right on that little peninsula like in the middle. Not that one, but this one. And so the Rust Belt, uh, Pennsylvania, I know the steel mills close, coal mines and all that. So this, the dark red is where the Rust Belt is, it's sort of a belt, a swath, comes down there. And uh, I know quite a few people, especially from Pennsylvania, came down here to Virginia and North Carolina um, because of the, um, there were furniture factories, there were plutonium um, uh, plutonium refinement um, lots of places in Pennsylvania they just they just move down here to where the shipyards are and things like that so that's the Rust Belt so the cards are um, traditional suites suits <laughs> cups pentacles swords and wands and the cool thing about these are it the Latin name of the plant is given as well as the symbol of the the suit so this is hibiscus he and the, and there is a term associated with the card healing or some Monarda I've grown Monarda, uh, hummingbirds like Monarda, but it's really prone to uh, 
powdery mildew. And there's a moth pollinating here. Trillium. It's a woodland uh, flower. Uh, it can usually in white, but sometimes red. Some, some different colors. Doesn't mind being growing under trees. Introspection. This is uh, Nupar. I'm not sure what that is. I believe it's an aquatic plant. And this looks like uh, um, honeydew. No, honey. No. The um, it's a carnivorous plant. Um, it's sticky. Things stick to it, and it sucks them. Usually, it's it's alongside of um, Venus flytraps. I forget what it's called. Um, sticky honeydew, honey. Um, I forget. Rudbeckia berta. That's a black eyed Susan. Nostalgia. You grow them, they will spread. The seeds just go everywhere. They're pretty. But then towards the fall, they look ugly because they just die. They just die back, and they don't die back gracefully. It's kind of ugly. This is actually a terrestrial um, orchid. Escape. Not sure what that is. But notice how they stack the little cups there, so that's really neat. Joy and balance. This is. Looks like. I can't tell if it's yarrow. Hmm. And then here we have the king, queen, uh, knight, and seer. So instead of a page, it's a seer. So here are the famous, like, um, naturists, environmentalists, um, scientists, um, the king cups. Um, this is Robert Bly. There's a little quote. Each one has a quote. This is Robin Wall Camirer. Camirer. This was David James Duncan. The world is peaceful and absolutely dangerous, wild and artificial, beautiful, beautiful and wounded, healthy and sick. And then the seer, this is Patty Ann Rogers. These look like ink and watercolors. Here we have a, um, it's a lantern bug. I'm not sure what that is. Material gain. Here we have, um, these are not praying mantises. Um, I believe these are aquatic. And they will actually eat minnows and, and things. They're carnivorous. Argea fuma penis. And these are the pentacles. Here we have a spider, which I've seen recently. The ones that we have around here with the pointy ones are white and black. Here we have an ant lion. And we have um, I believe this is an ant lion. Is that an aphid? I believe it's an aphid. Here we have a caterpillar. This is Cithronia regalis. Ah, this is a tomato hornworm. They hatch into like a, a moth, um, but a wasp has laid eggs all over its back. So what happens is the wasp, the eggs hatch, they burrow into the tomato hornworm and eat it until it dies. They just feed off of its, its interstitial fluid, its juices. And uh, there's a little horn. The horn is just ornamental. It doesn't, they're pretty tame, but they get as fat as your thumb. They get really big. Um, they love Datura. 
they will seek out Jimson weed and just eat it to the ground. Um, also, um, uh, Belladonna. Um, anything that's in the nightshade family, they'll eat. They love it. Um, and tomatoes. Tomatoes are in the nightshade family. That's why it's called a tomato hornworm. But I've had Datura, and they just eat it up. They will eat it to nothing. There's another spider. Here we have uh, water bugs. They were using the tension of the water to stay on top. Aquarius remigus. Here we have a stick bug. This is Edward O. Wilson. I've actually read a book by him. Um, he's really interesting, very uh, smart guy. Written a lot of books. This is Ellen Malloy. This is Richard Louv. L O U V. This is Ursula Goodenough. Death is the price paid to have trees and clams and birds and grasshoppers, and death is the price paid to have human consciousness, to be aware of all that shimmering awareness and all that love. This is the sword. Here we have an owl. This is Bubo Virginius. Virgin Virginius. Virginius. There we go. Here we have um shoot. Duck dives. its name, but it's a Gavi Emerald. Here are some eagles fighting. Eagles. There's a, um, I believe it's nesting. It's a Cordelis Minor. What is this? It's not a quail, but it's probably a, a ground nester. A woodpecker, we have lots in here, lots around here. I see them almost every day. Um, this looks like a pine tree. They have a hole, and there's a snake that has been harassing their little their offspring. Usually, they peck in like a row. You'll see the holes, and for insects. We have a beautiful mallard in a swamp, maybe a cypress swamp. This looks like a kingfisher. Usually they dive down and they get stuff. They love crayfish. Crayfish are like their thing to eat. This is a uh, swallow. They actually will roost down chimneys and cling on the inside of it, which is why there's a chimney there. Here we have a dead shrew or mouse. I don't know what the, I've never seen that. <laughs> Vultures. They have no feathers on their head, so they can push their head into like a carcass without it getting their feathers dirty. Anyway, the King of Swords, Barry Lopez, Rachel Carson. Who's probably the most famous one? Uh, Derek Jensen, Maggie Anderson. And the last one. These are all trees. So here we have Pinestrobus. Looks like a big old pine tree creation. Canadiensis. This looks like a. This is Acer. Barum. 
Suck bomb. I think it's an aspen. This is a tulip poplar. Duradendron tulip fur. Tulip fur. They create these little cones that fall. But in the spring, that's what the that's what the flower looks like. Larix laurentia. There's a plant, not a tree. That's sassafras. Palantis occidentalis. Hmm. Vegas grandiflora. Interesting roots. This looks like a live oak. Here we have Joseph Campbell. This is not the Joseph Campbell who wrote a Hero with a Thousand Faces, I don't believe. This is Anne Dillard. Aldo Leopold. And Mary Oliver. And that is it. So these are the cards. Um, I got these about two weeks ago. A friend gave them to me, and um, I had like, never heard of these. She's like, I saw these, I thought you they're so different, so interesting. Uh, so I appreciate that. It's a nice present. Rust Belt Arcana. There's a crayfish. I didn't see any crayfish in there. There's a crow skull. I didn't see that either. But there. That is the deck. So today in the mail I got a book called Tarot and Astrology by Muriel Bruce Hasbro. Uh, Discover the magical key hidden in your birthday. This book, um, so when do you think it was written? You know, based on this, you know, really dense, interesting book. It was written in 1941. That was very surprising to me. So it's got, it's been in, in print and, um, 41, 69, 76, 86, 89, and 96. So the copyright's been renewed that many times. So yeah, it's it's definitely a really thick book of I mean dense book of stuff. And the introduction, a new approach to an old idea, the order of the formula, twelve signs of the zodiac in thirty-six cycles, practical uses of the formula, getting along together, nothing but a pack of cards, the world we live in the qualities of time, and then the pursuit of destiny. And this cover, I love this cover, it's beautiful. But anyway, um, this will be very interesting to dive into and kind of look. It's classified under magic and occultism. And yeah, 1941, it's pretty neat. Anyway, notice I got some new stuff. I got my, this beautiful um, wood, Pentacle. I got my little, my little chalice has a tree of life on it on both sides. I think it's like silver plated. And I got my anthame. Theme. It's cheap, but it, it does what it's supposed to do. And I have my wand, which I made. Anyway, that's it. Rust Belt Arcana. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I've almost made, I've almost, um, almost hit 600 uh, subscribers, which is pretty cool. Um, I appreciate that. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway.